Okay, right here is a 1980 Dresser Marion 7450 walking drag line. Now this machine never turned out to be a very popular seller from Marion when they first launched it in 1979. The reason for that is very simple. When Marion launched the 7450, the market at that time was slowly declining in its demand for a small mid-sized drag line like this. The reason for that was because hydraulic powered equipment was starting to take over and a lot of companies were switching over from using a drag line this size to hydraulic equipment to do the job. So the 7450 never became that popular and Marion ended up only selling seven of these models until the machine was finally discontinued in 1985. But how the 7450 came into existence all goes back to Marion's most popular and best-selling drag line they ever built which was the model 7400. Over the 35 years that Marion built the 7400, they sold 92 models worldwide, which still is a record breaker today. So when they decided to update the 7400 to the newer 7450, Marion did what they called blending the new with the old, and basically incorporated the features from the old 7400, the 195M crawler drag line, and also Marion's 8000 series of drag lines to design the 7450, which you see right here. So now I'll take and show you around a little bit. The bucket you see right here is actually the largest bucket that the 7450 was designed to handle, which is 14 cubic yards. The smallest bucket this machine could handle is 10 yards. And as always, depending on what size boom was installed on the drag line, determines what size bucket would be installed. 7450 could have a drag line boom measuring anywhere from 160 to 240 feet. This is the shorter 160 foot drag line boom, being that it has the larger 14 yard bucket on it. 7450 was designed to be either diesel or electric powered. And Marion also offered an optional switching package to switch from diesel to electric. Basically, a customer could purchase this machine as both diesel and electric. And let's say they were going to do a job and they couldn't get the electric power to run up to the machine, they could switch it right over to diesel, which was a very nice feature that Marion offered. But as you can see, this one is electric powered. The cable you see right here running under the tub connects to your J box, which brings in 7,200 volts of raw power. Up inside the machine are your single hoist motor, which is 800 horsepower, your drag and propel motor, which is off the same motor, that's 800 horsepower, and two swing motors at 195 horsepower each. Now, if this machine were diesel powered, it would have two Caterpillar D399B engines. Your walking shoe, which you can see on this side right here, you'll notice the shoe is very small on the drag line. However, Marion designed it perfectly so that the shoe would support the weight of the machine when the machine goes to travel around. Now, the shoe is also very unique in its design. Marion equipped the shoe with what was called a ball swivel shoe mounting, which basically prevented the bending or damaging of the shoe or arm and assured uniform weight distribution on the uniform bearings. Now, I'll take you up and show you inside by the cab. 7450 is very modern in its design. Right from here, you can kind of get an inside view of the operator's cab on the 7450. And right here would be the operator's view when he's running the machine. And right here, you can see your walking system, your gear, which will push both shoes down, tip the back of the drag line up, and basically slide this whole machine backward when it goes to walk. You'll notice that the walking system is very different compared to the older system that Marion used for, say, on their 7400 and larger 7800. And on the back of the machine, you can see where it says Dresser Marion. The vents that you see right there are to allow air circulation back by the engine. Now, up at the top of the boom, there's what's called a ball swivel point sheave, 
which basically reduces the dead weight and allows faster cycles and reduces the wear and maintenance to replace and work on the sheave. Basically what it does is it allows the sheave to rotate back and forth and have a little bit more flexibility. Right here, you can see your fair lead where the drag rope runs from out inside the machine and out to the drag line bucket. And as I said, there weren't a lot of these 7450s built, which is sad because they are a very nice machine. But as I said, what did this machine in is at the time when Marion decided to update their 7400, at that time, the market was slowly decreasing in its demand for a drag line of this size. But there she is, a 1980 Dresser Marion 7450 walking drag line.